Hello everybody, and welcome to another GovGrants tutorial. My name is David Dabb, and today we're going to be covering advances. Advances are a type of payment request that you'll be able to do once you have an active subaward with LMG. So let's go ahead and just dive right in. So let's go in and find the grant that we created in, well, that I created after our, um, after our discussion about application submission. So this is the grant that I created. We're going to go ahead and go right into the active subaward. Now I'm not going to cover everything in the subaward record here. I know that there's no tutorial video for it. We'll be providing direct training if we haven't had that direct training already by the time you watch this video. We'll be having direct training that covers everything there is to know about subawards. So let's go ahead and dive right into an advanced request. So here we have an activated subaward. I'm logged in as David Dab, who we've been using throughout this entire tutorial series. And in order to create an advanced request, you're going to go into the subaward actuals tab. And then down here in the payment request table, you're going to see a couple of buttons. You have your advanced request button and your reimbursement request button. An advanced request is basically a request that you're going to submit to LMG in order to, to get paid in advance of your expenditures. A reimbursement request is a request that you submit to LMG in order to get reimbursed for your expenditures and apply your advance. So we're going to cover reimbursement requests in direct training. Again, if you haven't already had the training by the time you watch this video, we'll cover reimbursement requests in direct training. Today, we're going to create a new advance request. This means we want to see we want to receive some money from LMG in advance for the activities that we're going to do, and then we'll apply the money that we get from LMG in future reimbursement requests. To get started, let's click the advance request button, and that's going to open up a pop-up window here. Okay, now in this pop-up window, we're asked to provide a title. So I'm going to go ahead and just put test advance request. And you'll notice that the payment period was auto-populated. The payment period is auto-populated with the same dates as the budget period of the subaward. So the budget period of this subaward goes from 8-1 to 731. I know typically your fiscal years go from 7 1 to 6 30, but I created the subaward in the middle of July, as it's currently the middle of July. So I figured I'll just push it forward a month when I made that billing period or when I made that budget period. So this is the budget period of the subaward. And typically for the advances, your advance applies across the entire budget period of the subaward. You can apply the advance anytime after you've received it throughout the entire budget period. So that's why we populate the dates like this. We also have another field here is final payment request. You don't need to worry about that for advance requests. That's mostly for reimbursement requests. So we're going to leave that unchecked. And we're going to click save and continue. That's going to go ahead and create the advance request for us and take us right in. Okay, so now we're in our advance request. The overview tab just has some general information for us, all of it coming either from some other information we've provided before or coming from that pop-up window we just filled out. Most of our work is going to be done here in the financials tab. So here in the financials tab, we have our advanced summary. This summary shows our total awarded budget, which in this case is $50,000, how much advance we can request, what our balance is, how much advance we're going to be requesting in this action, which is which means this record. We haven't requested anything yet, so that's why that's zero. And then the total advance that we're getting. And so far, we haven't requested any advance against the subaward yet, so the total advance is zero. Coming down here, we have our payment request advance section. This is where you see everything that you've budgeted so far. Our subaward budget here on this test subaward record is extremely simple. All $50,000 that we've received in this subaward has all been budgeted towards administrative and legal expenses. Hopefully, your budgets are more complex than mine. But just for the sake of simplicity, 
I've budgeted everything just against one budget line item. Now to request an advance against any of these line items here, you'll go ahead and you'll click the edit icon here and you'll just simply enter how much advance you're requesting of your awarded budget for that budget category. So of those $50,000, maybe I want 10%. So I'm gonna request an advance of $5,000. And we'll go ahead and save that. Now, scrolling down here on the bottom, we have an acknowledgement section. In order to submit the advance request, you have to agree to this acknowledgement and you have to check that all applicable receipts and invoices have been attached. Once these two things are there and you save and submit, this signed by will populate with your username. We'll go ahead and check these. I know we haven't attached anything yet. Again, just for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to take care of them now. You'll want to come back and take care of this after you've gone through all of your attachments and stuff in files. But we'll go ahead and check everything now and let's save what we've got so far. So now that everything is saved and the page has refreshed, you can see now there's a couple of things that have updated. The advance request of this action has now been updated to $5,000, and the total advance has also gone to $5,000 since the $5,000 that we're requesting is also the total. Next, we have some things to take care of in files. So here in files, we have the supporting document checklist. You might remember this from the pre-application and application modules as well. If LMG requires some documentation to be provided along with the advance request, they can set up mandatory supporting document checklist items. And for those items, they can provide you with a template that you can click this to download. This is just a test document, as you can see. And then you can use that template to provide the information that LMG is looking for. And you can upload your required document using this upload icon here. So we'll go ahead and choose a file. I'm just going to pick a test PDF document. And now that that's uploaded, the subrecipient document link column updates with a view link that LMG will be able to use to download the file that you've uploaded. Next, after you've met all of your mandatory uh, supporting document checklist items, down here in the advanced payment files, you can attach any additional files that you would like by using the add files button selecting a classification, and then uploading a file and providing a description. Next, we have the History tab, which just has the snapshot history, and the Collab tab, which you should also be pretty familiar with at this point. So no changes here. And that's pretty much everything that we have to fill out as part of the advance request. So what's going to happen next? Well, we're going to go ahead and we're going to submit it to Grantor, which will submit the advance request to LMG. From there, LMG is going to review the advance request. As long as everything looks OK, they'll submit it for their approval. Once it's approved, they will then issue payment for the advance request, and you'll receive the money that you requested as part of the advance. If there is an issue with it while they're reviewing it, they may send the advance request back to you and request some corrections, in which case you should make those corrections and then resubmit it back to Grantor. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and submit. From here, LMG will take care of the rest. And that's it for advance request. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope this was informative. If you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out. We're always happy to help. Thank you very much, and have an amazing day.